In this video, I'll show you how to use the Content Aware Fill tool in After Effects to help hide an object from your video footage. First things up, I will just delete out that example and I will add in some video footage. I'll bring the playhead back to the beginning of the timeline. Now with the footage selected, you can use either your Shape tool or your Pen tool to create a mask around the outside of the object you want to delete out of the footage. In this case, I'll just use the pen tool and I will create a shape mask around the object. As you can see, I'm also giving a bit of space around the object. This just helps with After Effects to fill in the gap. Also be aware if you have any shadowing or anything like that in the object, you want to try and uh, make your mask go around that as well. So now if we drop down here, you'll see we now have a mask and mask one. Now what I'm going to do is just click the stopwatch next to mask path to create a keyframe. Now I'll also just click this drop down and select none so I can see the footage. As we scroll along the timeline, we want to be moving that mask so it keeps in line with the object. So as you can see here, it's starting to move out. So at around about this point, I will move the mask. Now if you have your mask selected, and we select the selection tool, you can move the entire mask. And as you can see, as I move it, a keyframe appears. You can also, if you want to select the video footage, select the individual nodes of the mask. So it's up to you which way you want to do it. I'll just stick with the mask for now. All right, as we get to about here, I will, whoops, select the mask, select off and mask, move that up, move that up and down a bit. As you can see, it was starting to go over this part here, which uh, hopefully we can avoid. You want to try and make it as easy for After Effects as possible. And we'll just do it to there. Okay, once you're done, come over to the Content Aware Fill section over here. If you can't see that, just go to Window and Content Aware Fill. And then hit Generate Fill Layer. Now, when I press this, there's going to be an error message, and I'll let you see what that is. So as you can see, this error message is displaying. Now, the reason for that is because we haven't set this back to subtract. We want to subtract that content out of the video footage. So let's hit the generate fill layer again. And you can see it's analyzing. And you can see a new fill layer is created on top of the video footage. Alrighty. Now once that's done, let's see what we got. And look at that, the bike has disappeared.